So about 18 years ago, um, my husband started into uh, reenacting, and he is an Abraham Lincoln presenter and historian. And he would go to various events, and of course the first thing they would ask is, where is your wife? And he said, well, she's not really interested in doing this type of thing. And one of the ladies that he ran into said, does she like to dance? And uh, he said, oh yes, she loves to dance. Well, this lady happened to have a costume shop. She also put on Victorian dances. So she told my husband, if you would have her come, I will have the dress ready for her. We will teach her the dance moves. I think she'll have a wonderful time. So I went. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with it. And once you've learned them, you've got them for the rest of the time that we do the dances. We do them all over Colorado and I would encourage everybody to come. Then we started doing mini dances and then of course I needed a wardrobe so I was trying to decide well I can't really afford to buy a new dress or rent a costume every time. Of course gowns are very expensive and you can go anywhere from having a custom-made gown made for you with the finest material, the finest adornments. Those are very very expensive and it was something that I felt that I couldn't do. So one of the other aspects of what I do, I would go to a thrift store and I would look for dresses that had that same type of uh, Victorian look. And it, it would be the V, the V pattern pointed in the front and the back. Um, I even went to the point of looking at wedding dresses. They were an excellent source for that. Maybe uh, just the sleeves. I would take the zipper out of them because zipper hadn't been invented then and I would put lacing for the back of it and that way I had a different dress every time I went. About every woman had a white linen dress which was very important to have. I probably have at this point in time about 35 different outfits that range anywhere from the 1840s to almost the 1900. I remember when I first started out I felt um, awkward the first time I went out in one of these dresses, whether it be a day dress or a gown, um, you know, you feel like the whole world's staring at you, which they are looking at you. So I think initially you have to get over that idea. But on the other hand, people are so enamored with it, so excited about it. They want to know about it. So it's almost like you feel like somewhat of a celebrity. And I will tell you in wearing the ball gowns, you feel like a queen. Yeah, I often refer to Belle of the Ball. It is so fun to get dressed up in these fancy dresses and dance the night away. Uh, today we don't do a whole lot of that anymore. And uh, that's what I enjoy. And I think in any woman, there's still a little bit of a girl left in her that likes to have these big fancy full dresses.